Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and I am going to be playing the You're the Tiger, um, I forgot what this one was called, but it's called something we'll see in a second, right, once I join this. But I previewed the track sets right now, and they are all rain, I think, if I remember correctly. Or maybe they aren't. No, that's the... No, these ones aren't rain. These ones are dry. But yeah, the Paper Tigers event, that's what it is. The Paper Tigers, You're the Tiger Challenge. And I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited that You're the Tiger comes out that's that it's come out and i'm really excited just to play all these challenges that's why i'm gonna just be recording a bunch of videos i i'm doing it in past tense right now because i recorded these on my phone just because i wanted to get the tickets to refresh as fast as i could and i got school so it's kind of difficult to record with having a on-time audio recording so yeah i'm recording this i already know kind of what happens i do get the tramic pack but this is just going through all the routes and also talking about you're the tiger that's why I kind of feel like it's better to be talking with it being recorded past tense because I could just have the gameplay in the background while talking about this great challenge because this is going to be fun. I've even got the garage much more upgraded than from what it looks like right now. I've just been upgrading tons of stuff. So hopefully we could be able to really my main goal is to get the Renault Laguna because that is going to be a very key clubs car I bet. And that would also be giving me three carbon fibers as well to get up to the Red Oak Laguna, so that's also very nice. But if I could get the Jaguar XE SV Project 8, I'd be very happy with that as well, because I would not mind getting that Jaguar. That would actually be a pretty cool one. I actually have a, uh, I think this is 124th, no, 138. I have a 138th scale Jaguar XE SV Project 8 that I found sitting right next to me right now while I'm recording this video. I forgot I grabbed that yesterday and put it over here because that's the prize car for Year of the Tiger. So I actually wouldn't mind getting it. It would actually be pretty cool. And as you can see, this is what the Year of the Tiger collection is looking like as of two days ago when the challenges just started. My hand has gotten quite a bit better too. And you'll see that with uh, tomorrow's video maybe. Yeah, tomorrow's video because then I will have the um, rover by then, hopefully. I'll hopefully have the rover by then. We'll just have to see. But we're going to be getting a premium pack from this one, so that'll be pretty cool. And another reason why I'm really lucky this year, the Tiger Challenge, because it gives me an excuse to max out a bunch of random cars. I kind of like keeping just a bunch of random stuff and also trying to collect a bunch of cars that I possibly can. But I don't really have unlimited slots, and they cost a lot of resources to keep it maxed out and stuff. So really, it's just kind of kind of difficult to just keep a bunch of random crap and with year the tiger and these collection series tags i could just keep whatever the heck i want if it's got the tag so that's what i've pretty much been doing i've been keeping pretty much everything i've got that has the year of the tiger tag and i'm gonna try and collect everything i possibly can so that's why i'm hoping from just these premium packs to just get new stuff like if i get a new super rare cool it's getting maxed out <laughs> like that's been the strategy pretty much with year of the tiger is that's what it's been and so yeah also, hopefully, we could get to that Red Laguna because, as I was saying before, that's going to be a very key clubs car because it is front-wheel drive. And it is the best, at least I think, the best as of now front-wheel drive car. It depends on how that uh, front-wheel drive Nissan Epic that hasn't been released yet, that's one or key less, depends how that performs compared to the Red Laguna because it, it could be interesting. It could be just a better car, but we don't know. It hasn't been released yet. As of now, the Red Laguna is the best front-wheel drive car in the game. And they're re-releasing it. And I grind clubs all the time, so I really want this car. Also, the Chevy Orlando is a pretty interesting one. I never would have thought to max it out ever, but it doesn't really seem too bad. 86 handling, 7.70 to 60, high ground clearance, I think. And it's an SUV, too, so it's got that niche as well. Doesn't really seem too bad of a car. I mean, the Pontiac Grand Am has better stats and for less RQ, and it's also probably lighter, I guess. But still, it doesn't look like too bad of a car. That's kind of why I like these collection series. It just gets me to max out random cars I never would have thought to max out. And then also add more to the branch that I want to collect. Like, that's why I collected all the Plymouths. Because I had the opportunity to collect all the Plymouths, so I did it. That'll also happen with Rover, right, once I get this prize car Rover. Because then I'll be able to max them all. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I have been a little stuffy as of recently because of my allergies. It has become allergy season, which kind of sucks. But hopefully that won't stop anything or cause any errors. Also, something cool that's happened is Gran Turismo 7 come out, and I've bought it. So we've got some content with that coming soon as well, hopefully coming out this weekend. Because, yeah, I don't have anything. Well, tomorrow I'm busy, but I've got to try and record some 
and then Saturday I'm not, and Sunday I'm not. So I'm gonna try and get a video out on that, and it's gonna be one of my cool just edited racing videos. I don't have any of those anymore on the channel because they all got copyright striked or copyright claimed, so I had to remove them all, which sucks, but it just kind of had to be done. And so that's why Great Turismo 7's out. I'm gonna make new ones because that's what I did over COVID over the quarantine. I just made these cool edited very edited actually very edited racing videos that took a while to make but they were also very fun to watch afterwards so there's going to be quite a few of those coming with Gran Turismo 7 which I've bought so yeah that'll be very fun and maybe I'll also do some streams or stuff but I'm not sure depending on how much like content I want to make with the game as well because I don't really want to do like a whole bunch of streaming maybe I'll stream like some of the I don't really know. I don't really know what's in the game. I, I've been trying not to like show myself too much of it because I do want it to be pretty much a big surprise. So yeah, let's continue on just through this challenge and hopefully we can get something good from that premium pack. I mean, I already do know what I get, but I think it was something I was actually pretty happy about. So we will have to see. But let's continue on through these. These first, This first challenge seems very simple. Just seems like testing your collection of a basic collection and you don't, it's not really requiring you to have too much maxed. Which makes sense for a first challenge. What I've been doing is I've been maxing out pretty much every car just so I can make these videos much easier because it's always tricky to have to record like a round and then I need to max out something else so I have to stop recording and make another one and then edit all the clips together. So that's why I've been really working on just maxing out everything. Because if I have everything maxed out, there isn't anything else I need to max out. So that's pretty much been the current plan. So let's continue on through this challenge now. And I really want that Suzuki Kazashi though, as you can see right there. I have a feeling that's going to be very key because it's a saloon. And the only round that I'm worried about in the future, all the other ones I fit the requirements, but there's one which is Saloon, Roadster, Convertible, uh, SUV, and Estate. And you can use those five that are Year of the Tiger. That's a bit sketchy. I do have some good saloons and SUVs. I have the Pontiac GA GXP, the BMW M5, um, the GMC Terrain. And so I've got like three good ultra rares, but it's going to be a bit interesting. And I have a feeling that Suzuki Kazashi could end up being really key. And that could kind of screw me over. So, but we will have at least two carbon fibers, I think, up to that point. Plus some premium packs too. So hopefully we can get lucky with those and I don't have to open up like one of the year of the tiger packs. Because don't really want to, don't really want to spend money. I just kind of want to just cruise my way through the challenge. But if it has to be done, it has to be done if I'm that close to winning the Jaguar. All right, there we go. Oh, my, my ear pop. But yeah, so let's actually put that on the quarter mile and then throw all the rest of these into their spots. But so far, still looking not too bad. Now it's kind of, it's getting a bit trickier. You do kind of need to have some stuff upgraded, but that makes sense. Because you do want to have some of your stuff at least upgraded just a tiny bit. And it is a bit difficult though still for like the newer players. I could see it still being rather challenging for newer players that aren't getting very lucky with the free pack. And they don't have the resources to grind events or grind clubs or anything. But it's... I don't know. I don't really know. I just sort of maxed out everything prior to, so I don't know how tricky it actually is. Because so far, this has been really easy to me. But it could be much harder for other players, too, that don't have, like, much of this stuff maxed out. Like, that North Loop could be tricky. I could see... Um, I don't know, actually, for the rest of these. The rest of these do look pretty simple. But I could just see some of these tracks being pretty tricky for other players that might not have as many cars. I just really wanted to make a bunch of videos about this stuff because I haven't in like a while. Because the last two um, collection tags I failed miserably at. So for Year of the Tiger I wanted to be prepared. And be prepared is exactly what I did. I prepared a lot. So let's continue on with this one. This one is also pretty interesting. Doesn't really look too tricky though. So let's just put, make sure I put all the cars in the right spots where they will be per, able to perform at their best. And we will see how we'll be able to do. So, winning that one, and then this one will be a win too. Good job, Chevrolet Orlando. Really hope it will be useful in some more rounds in the future, like the SUV round. It could be cool if that's actually made a key car then, because I got it maxed. And I'd like, to have it, I'd like to see it have more use, because it's a car that you never see maxed out. I've never seen one maxed out, until right now when I maxed out one. Like, I've never seen it used in an event, used in clubs, used in anything. Used in even challenges as, like, Hutch uses it as their car. It's just been ignored. So I really hope it'll actually be pretty key, because that would be pretty cool. But here we go. Premium pack round. Let's see how we can do. 
Um, uh, can we win that hairpin road? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we'll be able to win that hairpin road. Um, so here we go. We are in the lead, and we are nearly past, and we're actually past. Okay. So we'll just have to switch that around, so let's just skip the match, and then switch it around. And then we'll get our premium pack. We've got higher Q, so let's grab the Astra. Perfect. And let's see what we can do now. Throw a ball into their spots, and we will see what we can get from this premium pack. All right, skipping the match, and let's see. Can it be something good? I actually don't remember what it was. So Nissan, Suzuki, Chevy. Oh, that's a good one. And oh no, actually it was bad. I've already got a Voxel Astra Max. Could be useful in the future, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. I am happy though with that Aston Martin. So that's going to be concluding for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.